Gram staining, also called Gram's method, is a method of differentiating bacterial species into two large groups. The name comes from its inventor, Hans Christian Gram. Gram staining differentiates bacteria by the chemical and physical properties of their cell walls by detecting peptidoglycan, which is present in a thick layer in Gram positive bacteria. In a Gram stain test, Gram positive bacteria retain the crystal violet dye, while a counter stain added after the crystal violet gives all Gram negative bacteria a red or pink coloring. The Gram stain is almost always the first step in the identification of a bacterial organism. While gram staining is a valuable diagnostic tool in both clinical and research settings, not all bacteria can be definitively classified by this technique. This gives rise to gram variable and gram indeterminate groups as well. History The method is named after its inventor, the Danish scientist Hans Christian Gram, who developed the technique while working with Karl Friedler Currensinder in the morgue of the City Hospital in Berlin in 1884. Gram devised his technique not for the purpose of distinguishing one type of bacterium from another but to make bacteria more visible in stained sections of lung tissue. He published his method in 1884, and included in his short report the observation that the typhus bacillus did not retain the stain. Uses, Gram staining is a bacteriological laboratory technique used to differentiate bacterial species into two large groups based on the physical properties of their cell walls. Gram staining is not used to classify Archaea, formerly Archaea bacteria, since these microorganisms yield widely varying responses that do not follow their phylogenetic groups. The Gram stain is not an infallible tool for diagnosis, identification, or phylogeny, and it is of extremely limited use in environmental microbiology. It still competes with molecular techniques even in the medical microbiology lab. Some organisms are gram variable. Some organisms are not susceptible to either stain used by the gram technique. In a modern environmental or molecular microbiology lab, most identification is done using genetic sequences and other molecular techniques, which are far more specific and informative than differential staining. Gram staining has proven as effective a diagnostic tool as PCR, particularly with regards to gonorrhea diagnosis and Q8. The similarity of the results of both gram stain and PCR for diagnosis of gonorrhea was 99.4% in Q8. Medical. Gram stains are performed on body fluid or biopsy when infection is suspected. Gram stains yield results much more quickly than culturing, and is especially important when infection would make an important difference in the patient's treatment and prognosis. Examples are cerebrospinal fluid for meningitis and synovial fluid for septic arthritis. Staining mechanism, gram-positive bacteria have a thick mesh-like cell wall made of peptidoglycan, and as a result is stained purple by crystal violet, whereas gram-negative bacteria have a thinner layer, so do not retain the purple stain and are counter-stained pink by the zafranin. There are four basic steps of the gram stain. Applying a primary stain to a heat fixed smear of a bacterial culture. Heat fixation kills some bacteria but is mostly used to affix the bacteria to the slide so that they don't rinse out during the staining procedure. The addition of iodide, which binds to crystal violet and traps it in the cell, rapid decolorization with ethanol or acetone, and counter staining with zafranin. Carbulfuxin is sometimes substituted for zafranin since it more intensely stains anaerobic bacteria, but it is less commonly used as a counter stain. Crystal violet dissociates in aqueous solutions into CV and chloride ions. These ions penetrate through the cell wall and cell membrane of both gram positive and gram negative cells. The Cov ion interacts with negatively charged components of bacterial cells and stains the cells purple. Iodide, Ia or Ia, 3, interacts with CV and forms large complexes of crystal violet and iodine within the inner and outer layers of the cell. Iodine is often referred to as a mordant, but is a trapping agent that prevents the removal of the CVA Euro I complex and, therefore, color the cell. When a decolorizer such as alcohol or acetone is added, it interacts with the lipids of the cell membrane. A gram-negative cell loses its outer lipopolysaccharide membrane, and the inner peptidoglycan layer is left exposed. 
the CVA Euro I complexes are washed from the gram negative cell along with the outer membrane. In contrast, a gram positive cell becomes dehydrated from an ethanol treatment. The large CVA Euro I complexes become trapped within the gram positive cell due to the multi layered nature of its peptidoglycan. The decolorization step is critical and must be timed correctly. The crystal violet stain is removed from both gram-positive and negative cells if the decolorizing agent is left on too long. After decolorization, the gram-positive cell remains purple and the gram-negative cell loses its purple color. Counter stain, which is usually positively charged zafranin or basic fuxine, is applied last to give decolorized gram-negative bacteria a pink or red color. Some bacteria, after staining with the gram stain, yield a gram variable pattern, a mix of pink and purple cells are seen. The genera actinomyces, arthobacter, corinbacterium, mycobacterium, and propionibacterium have cell walls particularly sensitive to breakage during cell division, resulting in gram-negative staining of these gram-positive cells. In cultures of bacillus, buterovibrio, and clostridium, a decrease in peptidoglycan thickness during growth coincides with an increase in the number of cells that stain gram-negative. In addition, in all bacteria stained using the gram stain, the age of the culture may influence the results of the stain. Examples, gram-positive bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria generally have a single membrane surrounded by a thick peptidoglycan. This rule is followed by two filler, firmicates and the actinobacteria. In contrast, members of the Chloroflexia monodams but possess a thin or absent peptidoglycan and can stain negative, positive or indeterminate. Members of the Danococcus thermus group, stain positive but are didams with a thick peptidoglycan. Historically, the gram-positive forms made up the phylum firmicates, a name now used for the largest group. It includes many well-known genera such as Bacillus, Listeria, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Enterococcus, and Clostridium. It has also been expanded to include the molecates, bacteria like Mycoplasma that lack cell walls and so cannot be stained by gram, but are derived from such forms. Normally, if gram stain is done on acid fast bacteria, they show up as if they are gram positive, mostly because of their thick cell wall. Gram negative bacteria Gram negative bacteria generally possess a thin layer of peptidoglycan between two membranes. Most bacterial phyla are gram negative, including the cyanobacteria, spirit chats, and green sulfur bacteria, and most proteobacteria and Escherichia coli. Gram indeterminate bacteria, gram indeterminate bacteria, also known as gram variable bacteria, do not respond predictably to gram staining and, therefore, cannot be determined as either gram-positive or gram-negative. They tend to stain unevenly, appearing partially gram-positive and partially gram-negative, or even unstained. Staining older cultures can lead to false gram-variable results, probably due to changes in the cell wall with aging. Gram-indeterminate bacteria are best stained using acid-fast staining techniques. Examples include many species of mycobacterium, including M. tuberculosis and M. lepi. See also, bacterial cell structure, staining, trichrome stain, references. External links, gram staining technique video.